What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, how are we? Happy whatever day of the week it is for you. I wanted to talk about a very important thing today. I feel like with our society, we're constantly taking in knowledge, right? Like we really are the first generation to even have access to a phone or a laptop and Google, right? So you can literally Google healthy habits. You can Google how to lose weight. You can Google someone's fitness journey or I don't even know, you name it. You can Google anything, right? But I thought, okay, there's a million of those YouTube videos why does mine make a difference? And I really just wanted to sit down with you and go over what I think my top healthy habits are that actually make a difference between all of my research, me executing on a million of these habits, some sticking, some not, and really just go over what I think is worth your while and what you should take away from this. So with that being said, do not forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and let's get started. So let's start with first things first, the most important thing for me as a healthy habit, and it could be an easy one. I'll throw you an easy ball, right? We're playing baseball basically. Actually, I don't know sports, so I take that back. First things first is any form of exercise. I know you're like Sav, that's the easiest one. No duh, but like how many times do you actually say you will exercise on a daily basis? And then you get busy, you get excuses. Like I can almost guarantee 90% of us have that, okay? Maybe you go on vacation, maybe you fall out of love with it. People don't realize the importance of exercise. It doesn't matter if you're a naturally fit person, it doesn't matter if you're someone that doesn't gain weight easily, whatever it may be. I've heard everything in the book where you're like, it's my genetics. At the end of the day, one, of course, it helps you maintain a healthy weight for your body, but it also strengthens your muscles and your bones. As we get older, we may have issues with our muscle mass may have issues with their bone density. For the sake of it, for your longevity, for the older you, you need to exercise on a regular basis. That incorporates cardio for cardiovascular health. We want healthy hearts. We wanna be able to run away from the bad guys when we need to. And two, we also need to weight lift. We need to really focus on strengthening those muscles and not to even get started on the mood boosts that we get, the endorphins that naturally release when we do exercise. Two is you need real sleep. What I mean by this is a lot of times, if we don't have enough time in the day, what's first to go? Our sleep, okay? Well, actually probably it's the exercise and then it's our sleep, especially if you're a mom, if you're a corporate girly, whatever you may be, maybe you're a teacher, I have no idea what your life is, but we need an adequate amount of sleep to maintain a healthy lifestyle overall. When we sleep, our bodies are repairing ourselves. So if you're sick, if you're hurt, you're really going to struggle repairing if you're not getting an adequate amount of sleep. This is also a really weird fact, but when we sleep, we consolidate our memories. Our brain basically picks out our memories and decides what they're gonna keep and what we're gonna forget. So it's really important when you are sleeping. And lastly, it helps you regulate your hormones. Now you're probably like, how often should I be sleeping? A lot of research says about seven to nine hours is really going to benefit you with your cognitive function, regulating those hormones, and just feeling better throughout the day. Three that a lot of us ignore is hydration. And you're like, Sav, what do you mean by that? I mean, we actually need to make sure we're hydrating ourselves. 10 cups of coffee a day will not do it, okay? I am so guilty of that. I love my Starbucks in the morning. But remember to drink a glass of water with your coffee in the morning, okay? Randomly, hydration is important for our overall well being and our body and how it functions. It regulates your body temperature, it helps you transport nutrients within your body, and it really helps with digestion. Plus, it also helps with healthy skin, your kidney functions, and just maintaining a healthy amount of energy levels. That way, you're not getting such high lows. If you are, check how much water you may be consuming. Four, which is my favorite, is a healthy diet. What I mean by this is you need to figure out what works for you. For me, I do a whole foods based diet. You're probably like, you shop at Whole Foods? No, Whole Foods means natural. It means from the earth, from the ground, less processed things. So I eat a lot of poultry, I eat a lot of fruits and veggies. I eat a lot of lentils, a lot of whole grain, things like that has really helped with my diet, not only to help with my body weight, but also just my well-being. Like if I don't 
eat something like that, I'm not gonna feel the best. If I'm eating a bunch of junk food, if I'm eating a lot of grease, I just don't feel the best and I feel lethargic through the day. So just make sure you're getting an adequate diet into your routine. I feel like this is a habit. A lot of us get busy and we push off. We love junk food. We love fast food. I am so guilty of that. There's a time and place for it. But as a habit, I like to try and maintain a healthy diet overall. Five is we need to work on our stress management. This is probably, if not, this is probably one of the most important things because stress equals disease. Chronic stress has been known to really affect our health, not only mentally, but also physically. I know it sounds really intense, but there's a lot of studies that correlate when somebody's cortisol levels are high or they're just stressed in general to some disease they may be getting. So just make sure that you're practicing stress management, whether it's yoga, meditation, deep breathing, going for walks, whatever calms you down. Like what calms me down is probably different for you and that's totally fine. There's no cookie cutter answer for this but if you're someone that's naturally stressed out and you're always vocalizing that you feel stressed you should probably like revisit why and how can you problem solve it it's not practical to just be a stressed person we have to figure out how to lower that cortisol how to lower that stress otherwise it may affect you later on in life six and you may think this is random but regulate stretching okay and i swear by this not only does it help you with risk of injury if you're working out if you're about to go for a run, whatever it may be, but it also really helps with the muscle tension that you have and helps you with flexibility, which comes in handy as we get older, okay? We don't wanna be stiff and crotchety. Would that be the word? I get crotchety sometimes, I don't know. This could go hand in hand in reducing your stress. Stretching could help you relax, okay? So do not forget, don't sleep on stretching. Seven is positive relationships, okay? This is, a no-brainer but a lot of us will stick with unhealthy relationships and keep friendships that don't serve us or keep talking to somebody that doesn't necessarily treat us the right way okay we've all been there we're all guilty of this but there does come a time and place when enough is enough if you're a people pleaser really look into this if you cultivate positive relationships happy relationships, lighthearted relationships, this is going to reduce your stress. It's gonna make you feel less lonely. It's gonna help you with emotional support and just overall happiness. Who wants drama when you can just have fun? All my girlfriends that I love, we literally talk about like Taylor Swift. Like it's so lighthearted. Of course, we have days that we're down and we express it to ourselves and to each other. But honestly, overall, we like to keep it pretty upbeat and just support each other. Eight is Practice gratitude. I know you're probably like sad, this is so annoying, everyone says it, but don't sleep on that. Honestly, I feel like gratitude is something that we don't appreciate and we don't really look for in our life and we're always looking for something next. Especially in this day and age, I want it now. I want it yesterday and I'm so guilty of it. I mean, my Amazon order is okay. I live on an island. I have had to practice my patience on that, but just be grateful. Whenever you're having a, a really rough day, just try to like, sink in with what are you grateful for write down five things put it in your notes whatever it may be that's what i try and do i try and find like a moment of silence a moment where i'm alone during the day and i really just try to think of five things that i am grateful for and what i would like to keep in my life last but certainly not least is learn something new you can teach a dog new tricks. My pet peeve is when people want to do something, they want to start a business, they want to start their fitness journey, but they're too scared to do it because it's scary and it's new. Just do it. And if you have a year where you feel stagnant, you are not trying something new, you should probably revisit that and see what can I pick up? What kind of hobby do I want to learn? Do I want to read a new book? It can be as simple as that. Do you want to make new friends? Do you want to move somewhere new? But that's how we grow, is getting out of that awkward comfort bubble and just sitting with the uncomfortable, okay? Weirdly, when you learn something new, it keeps your mind engaged, helps improve your memory and your problem solving abilities. So. There's a benefit to it. But I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know if you want more of these tips. I just thought I'd sit down and go over what I thought was the most important. This may not be new news to you, but everybody has an opinion and everybody has a different thing that they value. These are my healthy habits that have really built me to be where I am today and how to maintain it when I go through a rough time in my life. So I hope this helped you. Comment down below if it did. With that being said, do not forget to like and subscribe to YouTube channel and I will see you next time.